American Environmental Review is a national platform where nature and technology meet. Where protecting and preserving our precious resources takes center stage. Where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the environmental innovators. This editorial series featured on national television takes an inside look at the outdoors, explores how the decisions we make today impact each of our tomorrows. Starch Tech Incorporated was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to the environment in which we live. In spite of the American mantra, reuse, repair, recycle, many of our landfills are at maximum capacity. And while it's estimated that only 5% of the world's landfill space is consumed by packaging materials, many industries are working to reduce excessive wrapping and packing materials. Product packaging is an environmental problem because of the bulk of it and also the material from which it's made. It has to be transported to landfills, fills up the landfills, it doesn't biodegrade rapidly. So you buy a product and you use that product and it has a certain lifetime, but the packaging material continues to live on for generations in a landfill somewhere. While some companies are changing the way they present their products, various manufacturers are now using more environmentally friendly packaging options. Recently, developers tapped a relatively common substance to create so-called packing peanuts used by many shipping companies. Starch and water are mixed with other biodegradable resins. The resultant mixture is then put into an extruder and heated under pressure and melted together. What happens then is that the starch gelatinizes, melts if you will, and then it's released to the atmosphere. When it's released to the atmosphere, the water, which is at very high temperatures, changes the steam and puffs the product. Although many manufacturers voluntarily choose eco-friendly packing, Developers find the expense of shipping this loose fill material drives up costs. The starch tech technology has taken a very good idea, a starch-based peanut, that really didn't have good economics associated with it because you're essentially shipping air. They've taken that and reduced it to a pellet, which now we can ship in bulk to various distribution centers around the country and around the world, and there it's then reformed into these peanuts where the economics then make it a viable product for sale within a two, three hundred mile area. That'll help revolutionize the packing industry because now this starch technology can be made available in many more areas with a simple machine that takes the pellets and reforms them back into peanuts and we don't have to have these larger production facilities distributed around the country or around the world. So on-site technology has been designed allowing individual factories to create their own materials. Simply on freight savings alone we justify putting in this extruder. Uh, and on top of that there are added benefits. Once you're in the marketplace you can serve your customers a lot quicker. The labor that it took with the old technology really required a person full-time working on the extruder. Now except for startup and shutdown there's virtually no labor involved. We want a biodegradable option for customers. While the starch-based packing material may be better for the environment, in the long run, consumers may be impacted as well. The cost of disposing of those peanuts, of that packaging material, does not then have to be passed on to the consumer, so therefore lower prices for the products that they're purchasing. And environmentally, these things are very friendly. They're just disposed of but dissolving in water. You could take them out in your driveway and hose them down. It's nothing more than starch. Very safe and easily absorbed into the environment. We want Store Pack to be here for a long time. And part of the way we can do that is not only to have a strong business, but also to have a strong interaction with the community and the world that we live in. By protecting the environment, we assure ourselves on that side that, that we'll be around for quite a while. The Starch Tech system has allowed us to, to make an investment in our plant 
It would be significantly less than any other previous investment. The product that, that results from the extruder and the whole process is much better than any other on the market. It's far more resilient. It's far stronger. It's a much better cushioning material. Uh, and frankly, the cost is significantly less than any uh, competitive uh, technology. Today, consumers are increasingly asking for products with minimal packaging. In response, many manufacturers are not only reducing wrapping, but choosing alternative materials as well. At StarCheck, we've developed a product that is cost effective. It's easy to use. It's biodegradable, made from sustainable resources, high quality, excellent consistency, never had a product quality problem in the last two years, and we sell over 7 million pounds every year. John F. Kennedy once said, the supreme reality of our time is the vulnerability of our planet. It is a timeless statement. World population, consumption, and technology push forward, often more quickly than natural resources can support, or with consequences more costly than you can afford. The need for a unified effort to nurture, renew, and protect the planet has never been more compelling. Therefore, once again, American Environmental Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's environmental challenges.